an independent contractor through his typical 24-hour day on Pipeline. A lot of people think plumbers are overpaid and underworked. That is a fallacy. We're extremely overpaid, but we try to do a half-decent job. The McLennan family, East 13th Street. They've been living three days with a clogged toilet. In delicate situations like this, DiBaccio not only has to be a plumber, but a psychologist as well. Well, we've been trying to get in touch with you for three days. Don't you ever answer your phone? What the hell do you want from me? I was out of town. Can you tell me exactly what it was that uh, caused the clogging? If you can recall, it might be of some help to me. Anything at all? Any information? Do you remember what the... You don't throw those things away? Well, I tell you what, uh, there's not too much you two can do in here. Why don't you wait outside? I'll size up the situation. I'll let you know. The McLennans wait nervously in their living room for DiBaccio's estimate of the damage. DiBaccio returns in a matter of moments. $25. DiBaccio always gives a low estimate to one, ensure getting the job while undercutting his competitors, and two, because he has a marvelous sense of humor. But unfortunately, I'll have to come back tomorrow. You see, the trap was only installed with a one-way access, and uh, it's got to be replaced. I got to get parts. <laughs> Like most plumbers, DiBaccio cares about his clients, and the strain of the McLennan family's dilemma weighs heavily on his mind. To relieve the tensions and anxieties before his next house call, he relaxes with his friends in a neighborhood bar. It's not uncommon to get phone calls at the bar. I should have an answering service, or one of those beepers you wear. But they're so impersonal. And besides, I don't have room on my belt. 3 p.m. DiBaccio arrives at the Fischetti household. Mrs. Fischetti is plagued by a leaky faucet. By and large, these jobs don't take too long. I can usually do them right on the spot. You know, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I should be able to do it right on the spot, by and large. I normally have to be careful not to repeat myself. The problem in this particular job is that the water inlet was installed with a bastard thread. To repair the leak, I must first replace that portion of the pipe and throw the bastard out. The Baccio works meticulously. Excuse me, that was my line. What? The Baccio works meticulously. That was my line. Uh, they must have uh, double booked us for the voiceover. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Baccio works meticulously, and the job is finished in less than an hour. Mrs. Fischetti is overjoyed with DiBaccio's work until she gets the bill. <laughs> After making a large cash deposit at the bank, DiBaccio returns home. I got into photography as a hobby because it takes my mind away from work, away from joints, male and female threads, couplings, and tight fittings. Even during DiBaccio's leisure hours, the phone rings constantly. If I answered every phone call, I'd never have time for myself or my family. If I had a family, how much can one man do? What if it's a social call? You're right. I should answer it. a.m. DiBaccio is back in the McLennan household. I make that 7 a.m. 7 a.m. DiBaccio is back in the McLennan bathroom. In unclogging the commode,
mode, I discovered a complication. I thought it was wise to inform the McClennans. It'll cost you another $85. <laughs> Got the go ahead. <laughs> a protruding arm had jammed the float, preventing proper water flow. <laughs> 9.05 a.m. The operation is a success. The toilet is flushing once again. The McLennans are relieved, or are about to be relieved. <laughs> Following the program, program was, a, was complete, a complete. If you don't mind. I'm sorry, am I through now? The following program was a complete reenactment due to a lack of plumbing expertise on our part. Next week, at the same time, be sure to watch Punchline 24 hours in the life of a TV gag writer.